Great. Now what? Hi. I'm Roger Horton, and I'd like to talk to you about rubbing stuff on your butt that rubs other stuff off your butt. Get the hell out of here! Oh, <laughs> that's right. Nobody likes to think about the poop-scraping sandpaper they rake across their delicate soft-serve squirters, because squeezing out the nutritionless parts of their bean burritos always leaves behind some clinging sticky bits. That's why toilet paper commercials always feature cute anthropomorphic animals, so you don't have to think too hard about how shitty you are at shitting. Hey, Barry! Holy shit! Bet you wish you didn't even need toilet paper, huh? If you lived anywhere else in the world, you could use a toilet hose to spray your turd hole clean as a whistle, rather than chafing it raw like a styrofoam cup being attacked by a straw chasing that last bit of milkshake. But unfortunately, American soldiers in World War II witnessed French ladies of the night cleaning patriotic spunk off their bits, and decided therefore the spraying of Gucci Gucci adjacent areas with water must be against good morals. Eight decades later, and America still cling to those same puritanical views of undercarriage purification, even as the foreign of the world are bulldozed to satiate the lust for rectal purity. Okay, well, I don't see a bidet anywhere, so just give me some toilet paper, please. I've got a big downy roll of Horton's smooth anal cotton here, but I gotta ask, are you rich? I mean, I do okay. That's not so good. Rich people actually spend 6% less on toilet paper. What? Why? Are poor people buying like next-gen 7-ply paper that comes with a white butler? No, that's when buying the exact same brands. Lower income earners just don't have the money to buy in bulk, so they're forced to repurchase more frequently, meaning they also can't stock up and wait around for blowout sales. This is true of basically every household item. Turns out it's kind of expensive to be poor. So to compensate, many go for the cheaper stuff, despite evidence showing rougher sheets of cellulose will absolutely fresco your sphincter in micro paper cuts. Okay, then just, just give me the good stuff. I'll pay anything. <laughs> I don't doubt it. But I gotta warn you, buttholes don't really like expensive fecal napkins either because there's a decent chance your keister is allergic to the perfumes and other chemicals they put on there to hide your God-given booty stank. Okay, do you have a wet wipe or something then? I mean, I'll use a paper towel at this point. I'd really prefer if you didn't do that. I also own a bunch of sewers, and people these days flush so much non-toilet paper, all my best shit pipes are choked with literal fat birds. That's not a cute name I just made up, by the way. That's a technical term for solid masses of wet wipes and oil and tampons that coalesce together to haunt the world's turd tunnels. The biggest one they found so far weighs over 300 tons. Okay, then I'll throw it in the trash. I'll set it on fire. I'll douse it in ketchup and eat it. Please, just let me wipe and go home. You know, we did just roll out a subscription service for Horton's bamboo ass cloths. They're so expensive, it's basically like wiping with literal paper money. Okay, yeah, sure, here, here. Oh, oh, th oh thank God. Oh. Are you shitting me? That's not the direction the paper goes. Doesn't matter, I'm- Get him, Barry. <laughs> <laughs>